Hello Papy Crafters! I am back with my very last layout for 2008, which means I get to put all my pages into an album after this. So, this is the last one. It's Christmas, and it has to do with uh, opening presents on Christmas morning. So, the papers I'm using come from Recollections Christmas Noel, and this is the one that have the really thin papers, um, 180 sheets as well as uh, the hot buy from Michaels and this one's called cute and cozy Christmas all right so this here is um, a 12 by 12 paper from the cute and cozy Christmas I'm gonna cut this down after I get uh, my other things adhered Here we have a three and a half by eleven and a half um, sheet, and I'm just looking which way I want this to go. Okay. And then this, I don't know if you can see it, it's a scalloped edge. There you go. So just a scalloped edge, and this is one inch by eleven and a half. I'm going to adhere this with my zip dry. Maybe. Let me get my pen. Just open this up. Okay, here we go. And I used the zip dry just because I wanted to um, have some wiggle room to get this lined up. Someone asked me the other day why I used so many different glues. Um, I guess because each glue has their own purpose. Also because I was testing out a bunch of glues and I wanted to see which one I liked best. <laughs> All right. Now before I adhere this, Right up here, it's got that sharp, jagged edge from where I uh, took it out of the paper pad. So I am just going to barely cut that off just to make it a little smoother. Let's try that again. There we go. And then I'm going to attach this to the far right side. Let's turn this so I can a better view. Okay, let's bring in the straight edge one more time, and I'm going to cut this off at eleven and a half. by eleven and a half. And 
And then I'm going to attach this to um, this black. But before I do that, I just want to touch up the inking down here where I cut it off. And I'm using a uh, Ranger Coffee. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in the other paper just because I uh, didn't ink up the bottom of this one yet. Let's go ahead and attach this to the black 12 by 12 cardstock. And ever since I had that one um, paper come apart, I haven't had that problem since. So I'm thinking I just didn't put enough glue on that one day. But just to be on the safe side, I am burnishing all my papers. Okay. So here I have a five by five photo mat and I'm just going to put this right up here and here's the other one they're both five by five photo mats okay. all right so I'm going to go ahead and get these adhered And I didn't leave a whole lot of room, as you can tell, for the red mat behind it. And that's because the pictures that I'm using um, are pretty good size and they will take up most of the space right here. And so, and I was going to do five and a half by five and a half, but it just didn't fit right. So I just decided to give it a small background and it works out just fine. Okay. Now, because I like the strength that uh, Art Glitter Glue gives on my paper pieces, I'm going to pull this in. Okay, so I have here from Season Greetings, I believe, cartridge, just a holly. this just like that then from Marjorie Ann Design uh, this is the Christmas Joy reindeer collection and I have my little reindeer hiding behind a present um, the from Santa is popped up on foam tape and then the ribbon I felt was gonna be too thin to cut out so I just use Baker's twine um, to hold the tag and then everything else is just paper piecing and this little guy is five and a half inches tall and he's gonna go right up here 
And then my little reindeer with the Santa bag. He is five and a half inches tall as well. He's a little wider, so he's going to hang off the side just a little bit so that they can fit on here together. And I have to say I'm pretty proud of myself. I didn't make any mistakes while putting my paper pieces together. Normally I kind of rush myself. This time I actually, I still cut out all my pieces together. on, um, And then I went through and I laid out every piece in groupings. And then looked to see what sizes. Um, like some of them had smaller pieces than others. So I grouped all the smaller pieces together. And... Um, then I went on <laughs> to Connie's uh, Facebook page, Prairie Paper Crafts, and I studied her eyes um, really, really hard. And I love the way their eyes turned out. So if you guys need a tutorial on how to do eyes, go check out Connie. She is the best in my opinion. And it definitely takes some practice. It took quite a bit of practice for me. Okay, let me get my glue eraser because I just got a little bit of glue on this Santa hat here. Okay. So this is my right side. Let me bring in my left side. Um, I still need to attach it to the black, so let's do that real fast. I think that's straight. It's hard to tell when I have a black cardstock on top of my black um, cutting mat. Okay. So here I have the same um, photo mat. It's five by five, but I made the inside smaller. The inside is four and a half by four and a half and this one's five and a half by five and a half so you can see much more of the red on here which is what I really wanted for all of them but um, at least you can see a hint of red on the other page and it um, draws them all together and coordinates together so it works I just love this paper. These all came from the same book. and Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay. So before I put this down, let me line this up. Okay. So this one here, um, Again, they wanted you to cut out a, a ribbon, and I just used Baker's Twine and attached it to the ornament. Um, here, they wanted you to actually uh, make the um, candy cane out of red cardstock and then place the white on top. And I decided I didn't want to deal with that, and so I just had um, this candy cane stripe paper and cut it out that way. 
And then here they had about a hundred um, white dots they wanted to put on this uh, Y and I decided I don't want to mess with that either. So I found some red um, paper with white polka dots on it and cut it out. So much easier to paper piece. I did that with a few things. I'll show you the other stuff in a minute. So there's ways to cut edges when you are paper piecing. <laughs> Um, same thing like here. So this um, ornament, they wanted you to glue on all the snowflakes. It was a blue ornament with white snowflakes just like this. I went and found paper to, and just cut it out in one circle. And the um, ornament here, same thing. I didn't want to attach all the white polka dots to it. Okay, so this is going to go down like that. So let me get this down first. My um, joy title is cut at six and three fourths inches wide by five inches tall. Now the J is supposed to be at a slight angle, so I'm going to line up his feet with the bottom of the O and the bottom of the Y. Make sure those are all kind of the same. And I'm okay with his snowball hat hanging off the side a little bit. Okay, now for this one here, he's also going to hang off the side a little bit, but I want to make sure I don't put any glue over here. So I'll just hold my fingers there. That way a picture can fit up underneath. Okay. There's so many layers. <laughs> I have to really make sure I press it to get them all adhered. Okay. Then I have this little reindeer holding a candy cane. I cut the candy cane out of the same paper that I did with this large one. Um, and he is cut at five and a quarter inches tall. Put him there. And then this sitting one holding an uh, ornament, he is uh, five, uh, sorry, four and a half inches tall. And he came out to be four and a quarter inches wide as well. His foot's going to go on the photo mat, but it's going to go on the part where um, the picture won't be touching. So I don't have to worry about him. There we go. So it just goes right up here on the corner a little bit.
And then the last piece I have is this little tag and it came out of the same pack as here and it actually says to and from on it and I just covered it with this white cardstock and um, wrote Christmas morning and then inked it up and I cut the edges to look like little flags. So it's, what it's kind of going to do is say Christmas morning joy. There we go. Let me clean my desk up a little bit and bring in both sides. I will raise up my camera so you guys can see. All right, there we go. Thank you so much. Um, for following me along for my 2008 album and I look forward to seeing you again when I start 2009. Have a good day. Bye bye.